In this video, we will cover the basics on how to use MATLAB system objects. A system object is a specialized MATLAB object designed specifically for implementing and simulating dynamic systems with inputs that change over time, such as signal processing, communications and control systems algorithms. MATLAB system objects provide features that account for tasks such as initialization, execution, and resetting of an algorithm. These are some tasks that are usually essential in embedded systems algorithm design. They also contain properties like internal states, which are necessary for time-varying algorithms used in dynamic simulations. Which brings us to Simulink. Creating MATLAB system objects will allow you to create MATLAB code that handles states, provide custom dialog boxes and block ports, and enable access to two separate simulation modes. For instance, let's look at the example of a ramp function. The simulink provided ramp block is great for implementing a basic simulation source, however, if you need an algorithm with custom initialization or reset behavior, creating a MATLAB system object will provide a great solution. So let's walk you through how to get started creating MATLAB system objects. In MATLAB, you can create a new system object directly from the tool strip. Go to the new menu drop-down and select from one of the system object options. In this case, we will start with the basic template. We will modify the name of our system, add a property called slope, and another property corresponding to an internal state under the discrete state properties. The three main methods in a system object are setup, step, and reset. For our custom ramp function, we will be initializing our internal state to zero in the setup method. Then we will write the main behavior of our algorithm in the step method. In this case, that just means returning the current state and incrementing the state by the slope. Finally, as part of the reset method, we will also return the internal state to zero. Then, we will save our system object with the corresponding name. To use this algorithm, you can create an object of this class in MATLAB by assigning the object constructor to a variable of your choice, like test ramp, and then calling the object using the step method. You will notice that our ramp system object is returning the expected increasing values. If you want the ramp to reset the internal states as programmed, you can call the reset method. To use this MATLAB system object in Simulink, place a MATLAB system block in your model and specify the system object name while making sure it is available in the MATLAB path. Then click OK. When you open the dialog window of your newly created simulink block, you will notice that information such as the description and relevant properties are now available in simulink as well. For our purposes, we will connect the scope to the block output and run 5 seconds of simulation to verify that the ramp output is as expected. MATLAB system objects are highly customizable depending on the algorithm requirements. You can explore some of the additional methods that can be implemented in MATLAB system objects directly through the MATLAB editor. Or use the advanced and simulating extension templates provided to explore some of the minimum recommended features. And if you're interested, in learning more about MATLAB system objects or other MATLAB features, please check the documentation links in the description below. 